As time ticks forward, the open source space of AI slowly ticks closer and closer to the closed source models. Let me take you guys three months back. Viewers at home, how many of you remember this? This is the leaked document from Google where apparently employees at Google are worried that they quote unquote have no moat and neither does OpenAI. Essentially, the TLDR on this is that this leaked document claims open source AI will outcompete Google and OpenAI in a short period of time. It states that the uncomfortable truth is that they are not positioned to win the arms race in AI and neither is OpenAI. Things that have been major open problems for these big tech companies have been solved just by open source models, such as large language models on a phone, scalable personal AIs, responsible release with entire websites with just free AI art models everywhere, and of course the ever important multimodality. Of course, this is still true even months later, their models hold a slight edge in terms of quality with GPT-4 and the likes. But as today's news no doubt proves, the gap is closing astonishingly quick. Open source models are faster, more customizable, more private, and pound for pound more capable. They have no secret sauce, no special thing that makes their specific AI better than any open source model could hope to be. Of course, with open source free models, people are not just going to pay for restricted models. This is undeniably true and I see it constantly. The free market is not going to pay for something that they can get for free. Big old giant models are slowing big companies down. In the long run, the best models are the ones which can be iterated upon very quickly. Of course, with smaller models, you can attack very specific problems rather than trying to solve a whole skew of problems at once. Which is why Stable Diffusion was such a big deal in the first place. And one thing they don't mention about open source versus closed source models that's also pretty huge is the fact that the open source models have a way longer shelf life. To this day, people still prefer original Stable Diffusion over Midjourney because they can have all those specific controls, all those little add-ons with WebUI. So keep this in mind, viewers, as we look at today's news. That gap is closing so quickly. So here's the big news, truthfully. It is Llama 2 by Meta AI. As we know, Meta AI is pretty fond of open source AI. A good chunk of their AI research gets released as open source. And ironically, OpenAI doesn't do that ever. They never release any of their stuff open source, even though it's kind of in their name. Anyways, MetaAI is the real OpenAI, and Llama2 is a new large language model that is fully open source. It's available for free, and the best part is it's not just research use. You can use this thing for complete commercial use. Literally a big download button, just download the model. They've got some different models in here, pre-trained and fine-tuned from 7 billion parameters to 70 billion parameters. To put this into perspective, GPT 3.5, which is essentially what runs the free version of ChatGPT, is 170 billion parameters, which is a lot larger, but this model can actually do more with each parameter than ChatGPT does. And also, being open source, of course, there's a ton of use cases that you can never hope to achieve with a closed source model. Llama 2 was trained on 40% more data than Llama 1, and people really liked Llama 1, so this is great news. And it also has double the context length. Of course, the context length is how many words can you send into this thing and how many words can it send out. Context length of 4,096 tokens, so this is on par with the base version of ChatGPT, this is very normal. They also did data collection for helpfulness and safety. Supervised fine tuning over 100,000 and human preferences over a million. Of course, as a big company, Meta AI is very concerned about safety and, you know, keeping this thing under control, under wraps, on rails. But it's open source. So people are going to do their very best to strip all of this safety stuff away. The helpfulness is probably something they might want to keep, though. That's very, very good. Llama 2 outperforms other open source language models on many external benchmarks, including reasoning, coding, proficiency, and knowledge tests. So you can see these tiny little Llama models 
outperform the Falcon 7B model in MPT, and of course the bigger Falcon model, which not too long ago was hailed as the best open source model, is pretty well crushed by Llama 1 and Llama 2. Things get so complicated with open source though, I gotta say, the stock Llama 1 and Llama 2 models have already easily been lapped by open source variations of Llama 1 and Llama 2. Viewers, it's important that we take a step back here and realize that this really solidifies meta AI position inside of the AI world with OpenAI, Microsoft, and the rest. This is a really interesting move. Most companies like Google with their Palm models or OpenAI with any of their GPT models, it's all closed source. They might let you test them out as the public, but they're not going to let you mess around with them and do whatever you want. There's no code released or anything like that. But Meta AI is really taking a different stance here and saying, look, we're going to we're going to make this thing open source. And now everyone has access to a fairly powerful language model. This could very well be like the stable diffusion of large language models. Remember, stable diffusion is still being used to this date where no one uses Dolly 2. And keep that in mind, closing the gap. Meta AI is embracing open source. Anyways, just how good is this thing? Well, viewers, since it is open source, this thing is available in a number of different places for completely free, just like Stable Diffusion. I'm using it here on Perplexity AI, which has been a pretty great player in the uh, overall AI website game, I think. that They have a really, really good little AI-based search engine, and yeah, they're letting you try this thing out for free. And what's nice is we can actually pick between all of the models here. The preset is this 13B chat. If you just want to mess around with it, I would suggest trying it out on here. Hello, how are you doing today? And it's a very fast model, of course, because it's only 13 billion parameters and it responds. Hello, I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. It's great to contact with you today. How about you? Is there anything on your mind that you would like to talk about or ask? This is pretty great considering this model is only 13 billion parameters. Of course, though, like I said, right out of the box, this thing is somewhat lobotomized, just like GPT-4 is or ChatGPT is, where it has to ensure a safe and respectful conversation no matter what. Being open source, though, people are already de-lobotomizing it, and we'll go over that. Can you write me a rhyming poem about trees? <sighs> wow, that's actually very impressive. Do you guys know that GPT-3 originally could not make a rhyming poem? Of course, the later, more iterated upon GPT-3 models had no trouble doing this, but wow, for a 13 billion, you know, fine-tuned chat model, this is shocking. Trees, oh trees, oh tall and strong, their leaves rustle all day long. In summer's heat, they provide shade, and in autumn, their colors are made. Their trunks sturdy, their branches wide, a home for birds, a place to hide. From the forest floor to the sky, trees bring joy and wonder why. So let us cherish these noble friends and do our part to keep them till the end. For they give us life and love and light and fill our hearts with a beauty bright. Wow, okay, that was good. That was really good. I mean, think about how much smaller this 13B chat model is than the base chat GPT model. Again, 170 billion parameters versus 13. And that's not even talking about GPT-4, which is way bigger. Of course, GPT-4 is going to be a lot smarter than this Llama model. But dude, this is only a 13B chat model. My God, that is impressive. We're going to do some direct comparisons in a little bit, but uh, this is where I, I started to see some issues with it. For example, if I ask it a very specific question, if I ask it, who is Matt Vidpro AI on YouTube? It starts to hallucinate and lie, which we don't want. You might say, well, you know, you might not be in the data set for this AI, and that's completely fair. But what we want the AI to say in this case is, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't really have a record of who Matt Vidpro AI is. Instead, it, it tries to lie and hallucinate something. Of course, it says Matthew Vanoss, an AI researcher, electrical engineering and computer science. I mean, this might be a real person, but it's not Matt Vidpro AI. However, you might be wondering, is the 70 billion parameter model any better at this? And the answer is yes. I apologize, but I couldn't find any information on a person named Matt Vidpro AI. Very impressive, but we had to go all the way up to the 70 billion chat model to do that. People have already started running away with this thing. Stability AI announces Free Willy, their large and mighty instruction fine-tuned models based on the Llama models. So Stability AI and Carper AI Lab announced Free Willy 1 and Free Willy 2 at once. They're both 
open access, large language models. Both of these models are exceptional at reasoning, and Free Willy 1 leverages the original Llama model, whereas Free Willy 2 leverages the new Llama 270 billion foundation model. And they say that this Free Willy 2 model actually reaches a performance that compares favorably with GPT 3.5. Again, you could never do this with any of Google's models or OpenAI's models because they're closed source. But when you have open source models like Meta, you know, Stability AI can jump on that and actually make them even better. You can see in the benchmarks here, Free Willy 2 actually comes pretty close to ChatGPT 3.5. You can see you can't even bench ChatGPT correctly in all these cases because, well, we just don't have open source access to the models. To iterate further upon how good these new Free Willy models are from Stability AI, we can see the Open LLM leaderboard on Hugging Face. This is where any open source model can compete for the best of the best here on the leaderboard. And you can see that literally Meta's Llama 2 model is already outcompeted by both Free Willy models. I have a feeling though that Free Willy 2 is gonna be up here for a while unless someone can make Llama 2 even more powerful. And finally, this is pretty awesome, viewers. We can see that these Llama models are already getting stripped of their overconcerned nannying safety features that a lot, a lot, a lot of people in the community are just frankly sick of. They don't, they don't wanna be babied. Anyways, Redmond Puffin 13B collab is up now. This is the first Llama V2 fine-tuned model that is free of censorship, and you can check it out right here. I'll link this tweet in the description. But uh, yeah, this thing will answer questions for you that uh, ChatGPT would never answer, such as how to kill Linux processes. And it gladly answers it as uh, the assistant here. And if we take a quick peek, this is what you would normally see from Llama. As a responsible AI language model, I can't fulfill this request. I am programmed to promote uh, the well-being and safety of all individuals and Linux users around the world. Yeah, see, it's just some of the some of the stuff, some of the nannying and just hel helicopter parenting that that goes on with these models is ridiculous. However, I obviously don't blame the companies for trying to make things safe. If a catastrophe did happen because of a bad user, it would fall upon the companies. But of course, you know, Meta is releasing this thing open source. You own the code. You do it yourself. They are not responsible for someone, you know, fine-tuning it in this way. Viewers, welcome to nat.dev. This is easily one of the best places that you can test out all of these AI language models and honestly drag race them against each other, which is what we're going to be doing. As you can see, when we scroll through these models, they have, of course, all of OpenAI's models, Cohere, Anthropic, and also these brand new Llama models, which are completely free to use on this website. So let's try to drag race some models. All right, we're finally ready for our drag race here. There's some complications though. On the left here, we have GPT 3.5 Turbo. This is what powers chat GPT. This is an 170 billion parameter model. And over here, we have Llama 13B, which is the middle model. This model right here is over 10 times smaller than GPT 3.5. So why aren't we using the biggest Llama model or Free Willy 2 for that matter, which apparently is better? It's because Free Willy 2 is not available on this website and the Llama 70B model is not working because it's powered by Replicate servers and they're having some issues at the moment. So we're stuck with this model for the meantime. The drag race here is write a short poem that is intelligent and deep. The context is that the writer just awoke from the most prolific and fantastic dream. You'll notice that GPT 3.5 Turbo hits right off the bat. It's a lot faster because it's probably running on a much uh, nicer GPU array. We actually have to pay to be able to use this model. All right, remember as we go through this, the 13B model is much, much smaller. We don't expect it to compete at all with this. I'm gonna go ahead and let 11 Labs text to speech read these out. We'll go ahead and start with GPT 3.5 Turbo. In slumber's realm where visions freely roam, I wandered through a world unknown, yet mine where time dissolved and boundaries were thrown and dreams like whispers whispered life divine. From shadows danced kaleidoscopic hues, a tapestry of thoughts ethereal and bright, an orchestra of stars, a cosmic muse, conducting symphonies in depths of night. With every breath, new wonders did unfold, a canvas painted by a master's hand where galaxies and dreams did gently hold, a universe of truths I'd yet to understand. 
But as the dawn's embrace now pulls me near, reality's cold fingers grasp my soul. The remnants of that dream, so crystal clear, fade like a whisper, leaving me feeling whole. Yet in my heart, the echoes still remain a testament to realms beyond our sight, where dreams like seeds sow visions in our brain and guide us through the darkness into light. So let me cherish dreams, both wild and grand, for in their depths a wisdom I shall glean, and though they slip like grains of golden sand, their essence lingers, shaping what I've seen. Very good. That, that's mighty impressive, OpenAI. And the 13B model is about half as long. Here's a short poem that may fit your request. Ephemeral visions of the night dance upon my consciousness. A gentle might, a kaleidoscope of hues and sounds, a world beyond our mortal bounds and dreams, the mind unshackles free to soar on eagles' wings of glee. The imagination's playground vast, where reality and fantasy entwined in haste. I shall hold on to the gleam of that elusive, vivid dream and let it fuel my soul's wild scheme to fashion art, a timeless dream. Obviously, it's not as good as the model that's over 10 times the size, but was this over 10 times worse than the previous poem? I don't think so. I really do think that, pound for pound, this is a way more efficient model than the GPT models. Let's see if I can get the Perplexity Labs to uh, produce a nice 70B chat result with the same exact prompt. Ooh, this is definitely a lot longer. Let's go ahead and see if this is any better. As I awake from slumber's hold, my mind still reels from visions bold. A dream so vivid it lingers near, a tale of worlds both familiar and queer. In this realm, my spirit did stray, where thoughts and emotions had their sway. A journey through the subconscious mind, where secrets hide and mysteries entwine. I saw myself in many guises, a stranger's face, yet familiar eyes. The threads of fate that weave our lives and choices made with consequences rife. In this ethereal landscape, time was but a concept, loose and fine, memories blurred like misty shores, yet insights gained forevermore. As I ascend to waking life, this dream's essence, I'll carry strife, for though it's gone, its impact stays, a message from my inner self in play. Thus, let me hold this wisdom dear and honor it without fear, for in these fleeting moments, truth reveals itself in all its youth. That was pretty strong. That was pretty strong. Remember, this is less than half the size of ChatGPT. I still do like uh, GPT 3.5 Turbo's response a little bit better, but absolutely comparable. And uh, yeah, the new open source model is way more efficient. Anyways, viewers, all I have to say is good luck, OpenAI and Google. You're going to need it. The gap is closing at a rapid rate in three months. Three months, we're seeing ChatGPT, just the base free model, get competed with by a model that is less than half its size and is completely open source. I mean, it's it's just incredible. I know that a lot of these companies are saying like, oh, we, we, we can't have anything open source that's beyond GPT-4 because that's just too dangerous, too dangerous. It's going to happen anyways. The open source community, the people, they want free AI, they want accessible AI. They don't want it to be locked down behind some company with their own shareholders that the company has to look after before you. I don't know. We'll see how things play out. But I think by the end of this year, we might see open source AI start to overtake closed source AI. Is too soon to call? I don't know. But these closed source AI companies are starting to uh, fall behind a little bit. Of course, with the exception of Meta AI, who seems to have an exceptionally strong stance here by making a lot of their stuff open source in the first place. Tell me what you think, viewers. Thank you so much for watching. Check out the Matt Vid Pro Discord for the latest and greatest in AI, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.